Hello guys, hello, welcome back to Academic Coordinates. This is a continuation video of the inclination of a line, right? Okay, we've got an example here. If m is equals to negative 0 0.5, what is the angle of inclination, right? Um, something I forgot to mention to you guys is that um, the angle of inclination, right, will be um, from 0 to 180 degrees. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. So, for example, if you maybe you get an angle which is not in this range, right? Then you must do something, you know? And then we spoke that um, when your gradient is negative, you're going to get an obtuse angle, right? And then when your gradient is positive, you're going to get an acute angle, right? Okay, cool. Let's just dive right into it. So, our... Um, Glorious equation is um, the tangent of theta equals to um, um, the gradient, right? Okay, here, you know, maybe in a test you might see the, gra the tangent of alpha, the gradient, I mean, sorry, the tangent of alpha, the tangent of beta, you know what I'm saying? So whatever that you see here, uh, please do not run away from your classroom, right? Um... Um, 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 this theta is a variable, so it can be the tangent of theta, the tangent of um, a, of a, or whatever that is written here, right? Okay, cool. So, how are we going to find the angle of inclination here? So, we know that the tangent of theta is equals to negative 0 0.5, right? So, it's a negative gradient, and so to find theta, we're going to say... The arc tangent of negative 0 0.5, right? This equals to theta. So, what is our theta? Grab our calculator, right? So, the arc tangent of negative 0 0.5 equals to, okay, you get something like this negative um, 26.5. Let's say 0 0.6 degrees, right? They will tell you um, um, what, which number of decimal places to round off to. Okay, cool, guys. Okay, so basically, we got a negative angle, right? And a negative angle. So this angle is right here. Okay, let's just draw something here. This is not the actual line, but... Let's say we've got an angle that is somewhere here. So what are we going to do now? Because of this needs to be an obtuse angle, right? So let me just grab another color. If we get a negative theta, we're going to add 180 degrees, 180 degrees. And then that addition will actually give us, um, so theta is equal to negative 26 point six degrees plus 180 degrees and so you're gonna find your answer right here so um you can say answer plus 180 degrees this equals to 153.4 degrees right so this is an um obtuse angle okay cool guys okay now let's come to the second part, parallel lines, parallel lines. Okay, guys, you know that if um, 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 a, the gradient of parallel lines is equal, right? So let's say you've got line L1, which is parallel to line um, L2. Then this will be the case. You know, their gradients will be equal. So, let's say this is y, this is x right here. So, you've got these two lines, um, line L1 and line L2. So, the gradient of these two lines will be equal. Okay, guys, let us do an example, right? Okay, let's say line L1, right? Um, passes through, 
passes through A, which is, um, I don't know, 1 and 1, for example, right? And we know that they tell us L1 is parallel to L2, right? And then another info that they give us about line L1 is that it has got an angle of inclination. Um, this is for L1, which is equals to 45, de 45 degrees, right? And then say line L1 passes through this point um, and it has got an angle of inclination, which is 45 degrees, right? Um, they ask you to find the, the equation of L2, which passes point uh, B, let's say, 2, 2, right here. So, okay, cool. So, line L1 passes through this point, and then it has got an angle of inclination of 45 degrees. And then now they ask you to find the equation of line L2, which passes through this point. So, for L2, we've got a point, but we don't have, we don't have the gradient. You know what I'm saying? But now we know this is the giveaway here that the gradient of L1 and the gradient of A2 are equal, right? But now how do we find the gradient of L1? We're going to come here, you know, this is going to assist us, right? So we're going to say tangent. You see, that equation is very important, guys. Tangent of theta is equal to M, but for L1, right? Um, so... Um, the tangent of 45 degrees equals to what? So you grab your calculator, the tangent of 45 degrees um, is 1, right? So this is the gradient of L1, right? And to add on that, um, this is also the gradient of L2. So now you've got the gradient of L2 and a, a point. Right, so to find the equation, it's gonna be y minus y1 is equals to m into x minus x1. Right, so this is now for um, line L2. Right, okay, so y minus y1 is gonna be 2. Right, we're looking for the equation of, 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 of um, line L2, then the our gradient right here is gonna be 1. You know, and then multiplied by x minus x1 is going to be 2, right? Um, okay, uh, okay, cool. So we're just going to solve now y is equals to, we can take 2 the other side of the equal sign, then it's going to be a positive, right? So um, 1 minus x is x, 1 minus negative 2, it's negative 2. If we take 2 the other side, it's going to be plus 2. So, y is equals to x, negative 2 plus 2 is a 0. So, this is our equation for L2. Okay, guys. Lastly, lastly, um, let's look at perpendicular lines, right? Now, for perpendicular lines, guys, let's say you've got two lines, L1, which is perpendicular to L2. For these two lines, we have stated in the previous videos that for any two lines, the gradient of L1 multiplied by the gradient of L2 will equal to negative 1. This one, guys, you need to know. This is very important. If you see perpendicular lines, this equation must come to your mind. Okay. The example right here, they say find equation of a line right a straight line you know what i'm saying that passes through a and a is three three you find the equation of a straight line that passes through this point and this straight line okay let's say you find the equation of line l1 for example let's say, just say l1 and then they tell you that l1 is perpendicular right to l2 yeah? and they say l2 the equation of l2 right you are actually given so it's 3y 
is equals to minus x plus 6. Okay, they gave you the equation of L2. What you're looking for, you're looking for the equation of L1. And in L1, you only have one thing, guys. You only have its coordinate, where the point that it passes. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. The important thing to note here, guys, is that um, from this line, you are not interested in the negative six, in the positive six. The only thing you're interested in is the gradient of this line, right? Because of you're gonna use the gradient of this line, and you're gonna use this equation to find the gradient of l one. Okay, cool. But now looking at this point, this equation is not in a standard form. So in a standard form, it's actually gonna be y is equal to you're gonna divide by three everywhere divide by 3 here, and then also here going to divide by 3, so it's going to be 1 divided by 3x, then 6 divided by 3 is going to be this right here. Okay, cool. So, you are at this point now. This is the equation of line L2, but you're looking for line L1, right? So, this is the gradient of the line. And then, we're almost there, guys. Just grab a shell pill. We're almost there. Okay, cool. So, how you're going to do this one, guys, is that... Um, you know that um, the gradient of L1 times the gradient of L2 will equal to negative 1, right? So the gradient of L1 is the one you're looking for um, times the gradient of L2. What is the gradient of L2? It's this one. Negative 1 over 3 is equal to negative 1, right? So now the gradient of L1 is equal to negative 1 divided by negative 1 over 3. So... What is this? This equals to a 3 right here. Okay, guys. So, basically now, you can just use your equation. Let's just use this one. Y is equals to um, mx plus c, right? Let's just take it from here. Yeah? Okay, when we are here, we know the gradient. And then where there's y, we're going to substitute the, this um, um, value. Then where there's s, so we're going to substitute this one, right? So it's going to be 3 is equals to, what is y? I mean the gradient, the gradient is 3 also. This is the gradient of L2. The gradient is 3. And then multiplied by x. x is what? x is also 3 plus c. So c is the y-intercept. So 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, let me just lift my paper up a bit. Okay, 3 times 3 is 9, right? If you take 9 the other side, it's going to be a negative 9. So it's negative 9 plus 3 um, is equals to C, right? So negative 9 plus 3, um, so C will equals to negative 6. So what is our equation for L, for L2, the equation of the line L2? will equals to y is equals to, the gradient there is 3x minus 6. Okay, guys, that's how you actually use um, these forms, right? Um, that's how you, you use the inclination of a line and its properties. Basically, this is analytical geometry. That is how you use these properties, guys, to find the information you, you are looking for. So, okay, guys, without any further ado, do enjoy the rest of your day. Have a blessed day. Um, I wish you guys all the best, those who are writing. Um, okay, if you've got any questions, write in the comments below or you can email me. You can find my email also in the um, um, description. You know what I'm saying? Okay, guys, enjoy your day. Stay blessed.